What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So I'm back with another preview and predictions for Fast Lane this Saturday, man. Very interested to see how some of these matches are going to play out. So I'm going to give my preview and predictions on who's going to win, who's going to lose, why and why not. And I'm um, going to see if I'm correct on my previews or not. So let's get right into this one. We're going to start with um the lwo ray mysterio santo escobar uh and i don't know how to pronounce the other guy name uh joaquin wild i think i said that right if i didn't i'm sorry or maybe cruz del toro you know they'll figure out who they're gonna have in the match versus bobby lashley in the street profits and obviously they are trying to build up as the street profits as a um as um some heels now aligning themselves with bobby lashley and what they did on his previous uh week of uh, uh last week on smackdown them attacking the lwo members or whatnot and showing showing bobby why they you know they need to be associated with each other because bobby was like you got to prove that you know you got to prove yourself to me and that was their way of proving it in a heel like fashion and i am all for it obviously in my personal opinion uh I, I, even though the lwo be taking some l's they may have to take another l on this one bobby lashley and the street profits need to win this match to really solidify themselves as a dangerous faction and i do see that happening and maybe getting a little bit rogue maybe trying to take somebody out really play into it i really am interested to see what angelo Dawkins and montez ford do as heels we've seen how dangerous bobby can be let's see what they do as heels and let's see how they move going forward so next match up uh is the undisputed tag team championships being on the line between the judgment day um featuring damian priest and finn balor who are the tag team champs going against cody rhodes and Jay Uso now I was really surprised by this decision because I initially thought it was probably going to be like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to have their rematch uh once again but no they're going Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso this time and it's going to be very interesting what story they tell here but I don't see the Judgment Day losing Dominic just regained his NXT North American Championship I don't see the Judgment Day losing this match i think the number game numbers game will be a, a, an issue for them i don't even see uh drew mcintyre getting involved i know drew had said something that he's not going to get involved uh anything get involved with anything involving uh jay uso or even uh cody rhodes and you know he could be lying about that but i don't think he needs to get involved in that situation at least not right now at least i think the numbers game is going to be just enough to uh you know pretty much make things hard for um um cody and jay so i do have the judgment day retaining because it just doesn't make sense for them to lose it after only having it for about a month or so so i think they're gonna retain everybody in judgment say still gonna have the gold i was a little spectacle before this but once dominic got his nxt north american championship back i was like okay well they're not splitting boys up it's it's not the downfall of the judgment day yet so most likely they will retain next match wwe women's championship eo sky versus oscar versus charlotte flair do i think this will be a pretty good match yes i do um i'm really i'm really only one i would prefer it just to be eo and oscar but you know charlotte's gonna be the third wheel here me personally i would still have eo retain the reason why i have eo retain because i think the few with well, the match that they could be potentially setting up is eo versus bailey because there's still that tension there and there's still that situation of bailey doing things on behalf of eo and eo's like uh i don't know about that i didn't really agree to that what's going on here so and i think that's how even eo is even in this triple threat match because uh bailey pretty much was like yeah she'll fight both of them if she has to kind of put, put herself in that situation when it's like what are you doing so i want to see that feud i want to see that happening and i think it would be better if eo was the champ so i do have eo retaining in this regard 
Then we have the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura in a last man standing match. Now, here's a very interesting situation. I do feel like this should be this should be a very entertaining match. Shinsuke Nakamura has essentially been playing mind games with Seth Rollins. And uh, on this uh, previous Monday Night Raw, he got the best of Seth Rollins. Me personally, would I be okay if Shinsuke won this match? Of course, I do feel like Shinsuke definitely deserves it. He's been doing some pretty good stuff as a heel. I like what they've been doing with him. But at the same time, Shinsuke is not going to be the one to take him down seth rollins will retain the world heavyweight championship now this is what they could do and maybe they should do because they've been selling seth rollins injury ever since the last pay-per-view like his back has been hurting him he's gonna be in immense amount of pain he's barely gonna be able to stand up he's gonna make the 10 count but he's barely going to be able to do it and depending on how they book this match but shinsuke should be the aggressor here and really try to end this man's career so with all that damage he would have taken from the match it would make the most logical sense if damian priest cashes in and actually fucking wins dead ass he actually wins obviously it will be a situation where you can even set it up where seth is outnumbered Seth, and you know, you, you, you see the Judgment Day music, you see Damian Priest, but he's not by himself. He's outnumbered. You can see something like that, and then they maybe attack him even more, then he cashes in. Or you can just have him cash in by himself, but I think since they're going with that route of them taking over everything and getting involved in each other's matches, I think that would be something that they do. Have him cash in, and then um, he loses the title because of finishing the match tired battered and bruised and having to deal with all of judgment day and then you can really start setting this up where people on monday night raw are getting sick and tired of judgment day and then you can set up something at war games judgment day members versus people that have beef with judgment day and i think that would be interesting too and you can have seth rollins in that war games match to get some some type of payback if that's something you would if that's something that they would do so i do think he will win and then i do think there may be a cash in and he actually loses and damian priest becomes your new world heavyweight championship but we'll see how that play out so but i do have seth rollins retaining and surprisingly um the 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 potential main event and there's no other matches as of me filming is um right now that they've listed john cena la Knight versus the bloodline solo sokoa and jimmy uso that's really crazy that there's only five matches they only have five matches listed so far for the pay-per-view five so that means if they don't add anything else on smackdown these matches are gonna have some time to them 20 30 plus minutes but this match right here i'm definitely looking forward to i'm looking forward to seeing how john cena and la Knight gel with each other this is going to be a fun match. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun match. I'm going with John Cena and LA Knight to win. Because right now, LA Knight has a lot of momentum. A lot of momentum. And I don't think Solo is going to be the one to get pinned. I think Jimmy Uso is going to be the one to get pinned here. The guy that's been running his mouth, talking like a big shot, acting like he's Roman Reigns, acting like the Tribal Chief, is the one that got pinned, not Solo. And it may... Obviously, he's going to piss off Solo. He's going to piss off uh, Paul Heyman and is definitely going to piss off Roman Reigns. So, John Cena, LA Knight beat Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso with Solo getting pinned by LA Knight. I hope LA Knight is the one to pin him because then you can really start setting up some things there. See, see how things going on because now... LA Knight is really starting to get under the bloodlines, uh, under their skin. And maybe even Roman's starting to, you know, get annoyed by him. Because Solo's annoyed by him already. But Roman may be like, okay, all right, LA Knight, I'm not liking this. Uh, you, you need to calm down. So that's my preview and predictions. And like I said, there's literally only five matches as of me filming this video right now listed.
It's a very short card, but I do feel like they're going to fill it out. These matches are going to have some uh, decent amount of time to them. Um, and I'm looking forward to them. For the most part, most of these matches seem very entertaining on paper. And hopefully it delivers. So comment down below. Let me know who you guys think will win. Who you guys think will lose. Do you feel like there will be a cash in? at this pay-per-view at fast lane y'all let me know down below uh y'all previews and or y'all predictions as well and and where y'all think the storylines are gonna go but i appreciate all the love and support road to the and i'm seeing on the speed of youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all giving me see y'all next one peace